gun violence kills hundreds of Nevadans every year. And now in an interview that you'll only see here on 8 News Now, Democratic Congressman Stephen Horsford is using his own story to push for change. His father died in a shooting nearly three decades ago. Now the congressman hoping a new piece of legislation will prevent other families from experiencing similar trauma. In an exclusive interview, he's telling his story to the I-Team's David Sharns. Someone chose violence and took his life. That doesn't have to be. It's a moment Congressman Stephen Horsford says made him passionate for change. We're talking about breaking the cycle of violence so that no one has to experience it. A cycle of violence that's affected his own family starting when he was 19. It was trauma for all of us, for our entire family. You know, I've again tried to turn that pain into a sense of purpose. In 1992, a gunman shot and killed Horsford's father at this North Las Vegas convenience store. Your dad is dead. Okay, what am I supposed to do with that? That's 28 years ago. I am now in a position where I can do something about that. He's introduced the Break the Cycle of Violence Act, which creates community-based intervention programs. You don't give them anything else to do. What do you want them to do? Targeting young people at risk, teenagers like Sean Jerrion Coleman. I feel like if you get shot in the face, you don't, you don't change, then <laughs> what are you doing? Coleman survived a shooting two years ago. Now he, too, is turning that scar into newfound self-confidence. It's a chance to be the change you want to see. That's what I always say. He's the president of an advisory council here at Nevada Partners. I was in the streets at 16, 17, so it's kind of like being in the streets, you know, you just learn, you know, you either adapt or you die. This is a poem for Breonna Taylor I wrote. We fought long and hard in protest and campaign to get your killers arraigned. But he's adapted in a different way. It's hard to explain why another innocent black individual has to be slain. Taking up poetry writing a new chapter, one in his life and other lives too. They plug you into programs and they put you, they set you up with people that could really help you move into a path where you want to go. I didn't have the opportunity for my dad to see me graduate from college, for him to see me get married, for my three kids to have the chance to, to, to meet their grandfather. For the congressman, it's about investing in another way to reduce crime and to prevent one's potential from being stolen. My job is to try to give somebody else an opportunity. He didn't have a trauma that I experienced, that my family experienced, that too many family members in throughout Southern Nevada. And, and I, I never want my community to be labeled as, as violent. Democratic Congresswoman Dina Titus is a co-sponsor of the bill, as are 48 other members of Congress, all of them Democrats. Right now, the bill is making its way through two congressional committees. I'm David Charns, 8 News Now. A recent government report finds gun violence costs our country more than $200 billion a year. That's about $700 for every American. Now, as David mentioned, no Republicans have signed on to that proposal. We did reach out to the National Republican Party for comment, and they declined.